Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here, a.k.a. DJ Chewbacca Face. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, Serato DJ and the new update that just came out today, 1.7.4, and mapping multiple MIDI controllers. So the way I have it set up right now on the machine MK2 is with the browse knob and with the push controlling, you can see that it goes back and forth between browsing and then when I push the button down it'll jump over here and browse the crates so that's very cool except I can't have that same functionality even though it's doubling up sometimes I don't have this mixer um, when I push down on this browse knob but the browsing function does work and I realize it's because in the controller editor you can edit what the actual signing CC numbers or MIDI notes are. Um, you can do that on other controllers as well, but Native Instruments controller editor is really great for mapping that kind of stuff out. So on this one you can see it's channel 16 0 and if I go over to the machine controller hit the browse knob channel 16 0. So they're the same, they're sending out the same message. If I do the push control over here you can see that's 16 102 so I just want to change the attractor Z2, hit the push to 16, and then move this down to 102. Um, since I'm also having that same issue with the pads, and what I mean by that is that if I go here, load a track, that pad lights up, this pad usually does not light up, um, and actually it's hitting the wrong MIDI note. But what usually happens is that if you try to MIDI map more than one MIDI controller, for instance, when I hit that, now that's controlling Q.1, but now this one has clearly gone away, and it's not. So what I want to go and do is I'll reassign this to that one which is the first pad on the MK2. Then I'll go into the controller editor, go to my machine, hit that pad, and I'll see it's 12 and C0. Do the same thing, go to tractor, Z2, go to this pad, and I'll see that it's 12, C0. So now they're all the same. Now I just want to restart Serato DJ so that when it sends the LED feedback, it will be coming to both of them simultaneously. They won't be blocking one another off. Let's load that track. see I can browse and use the tab button on both because they're both sending out the same MIDI. Um, go to here, load that one, and you'll see that I have MIDI control and LED feedback on both controllers. So now the next thing to do would be, since this is a load for my two, I would want to change these two to the same, because now they don't do that. So it's the exact same process. Just go to machine, MK2. These two are 16D6 and 16D sharp 6. So I just go to Z2, change this to 16. change it to a note, change that to D sharp 6, D6 actually on the left, change that to a note, because it was a control change, you just have to make sure, because they're generally different, usually pads and keys are notes and knobs and things are control changes. 16 D sharp 6. Alright. Now, again, 
that's not going to necessarily work immediately. Yep. So now these will work as loading, but if I want the same LED feedback that you can see is happening when I hit this other MIDI controller, I would have to restart it just like with the other ones. So hopefully that helps if you're having issues with multiple MIDI controllers or just understanding the way that the MIDI works inside of the new 1.7.4 Serato DJ update. Hopefully this helped. Once again, in the place to be, Chewbacca and the family, DJ Divine Justice signing off. Practice and enjoy. Peace.